I've grinded in the music world for about 10 years now. Um, and so I'm like, okay, I've paid my dues. If I'm gonna stop and take a break from the day job, it's gonna be a, an arena or a platform I really wanna present my music in. Bohemian Caverns is like a historical site in DC. Um, it was really big in the birth of the jazz era in DC, and so you've got a lot of luminaries that, in the jazz world that actually perform there, like Ella Fitzgerald, Duke Ellington. Within the last, I think, six or seven years, this young guy, Omar Brown, came in reopened it and wanted to revive jazz in the city, in the U, U Street corridor, not only with international acts, but local acts. And um, he's one of the first places that I started performing in, in DC. So for that reason, when it came time to actually record something, I was like, that's where I wanna be. My guess is most of you all have heard this lady before, but there's always some new people Lloyd has been, been performing here f for almost the entire time we've been here, uh, shortly after we started uh, or took over here. And so we're really glad to have her back. So if we could uh, all join me in welcoming back to Bohemian Caverns, Lloyd. Good evening, Bohemian. Not only is the venue itself great and the owner is great, but it's a really intimate vibe so that folks kind of feel the music. My mom is from Mozambique and my dad's from Guinea-Bissau. Both are Portuguese-speaking countries. So at home, our music was a mix of Afro-Lusophone music or African-Portuguese music. Um, I grew up heavy in the church, so church music. And I've always been a music fiend, so those influences and then my introduction to jazz in my teens. So all of those heavily influence what you hear now. That song is from Sarah Tavares. She's a Cape Verdean Portuguese vocalist that came out a few years ago. And then when the chorus comes in, balance it, you and Mark come in. It always starts with myself and Mongezi Nkata. He's the South African guitarist. One way we'll do it is he'll lay down the music and then I come over with the melody and the lyrics or I'll be like, this song I really wanna do. Let's discuss how we can make it our own. And um, if I do it that way, it's with the whole band. How do you classify your music? If you have to, if someone asked you if you had to classify, where would you put it? I've created my own name. Okay. <laughs> Afro Lucifone Jazz. Oh, I long, I long for the country, for the country of my mama, of my mama. Oh, so Portuguese speaking African mm -hmm. jazz. Mm -hmm. And I mean, just by virtue of me being a youthful person, mm -hmm. my music is modern. The night is coming to an end. If you don't actually take the time to communicate with the audience, either through your eyes or the way that you vibe with the music, it's just a very dead performance. Okay. So that, so that, so that, just my terra, the moça me came. At the end of the day, I'm not performing for myself. You know, I'm giving the music out so that the folks out there can feel it.
Thank you for coming.